just about every single day, I get a phone call from someone whose Windows, for whatever reason, won't boot. And unfortunately, they didn't get the tools that they need to fix those problems ahead of time. Now, I've been saying the same thing on this channel in 2023, 2024, and now in 2025. You absolutely need a Windows installer disk. And you might be saying to yourself, well, my Windows is working great. Why do I need an installer disk? There are so many reasons to have a bootable Windows installer. Not only for you to be able to successfully boot into repair options that might actually get your computer back up and running, but if you haven't backed up your data, you can use this to get your files back. And also, if for some reason you need to completely reinstall Windows, the bootable installer disk is going to take care of that for you. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, if you're new to this channel, my name is Scott Merrill. I've been in IT for nearly 35 years. And what I do on this channel is Windows tips, tricks, reviews, troubleshooting, and more. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, definitely check out my video library because I got a ton of videos that you might enjoy. Another thing that I love doing is making PC recommendations for those of you who may be looking to buy a new computer, but you really don't know where to start. There is a link in the description. It's a quick form. Fill that out and I will laser focus and find you exactly what you need for your budget. It's 100% free. I'm happy to do it. One more thing. If you are watching this on TikTok, please know it is stolen content. Someone has taken all of my videos and uploaded it on a TikTok channel. I have no interaction with the channel. I don't see the comments. I certainly don't see the revenue. Someone has basically just taken all my videos and a bunch of other creators and is making money for themselves. So if you comment on TikTok, please know I won't see it. Now that we got that out of the way, let me show you how to quickly and easily create a Windows installer disk. Now, as I always tell people on this channel, I go over the what and the why before the how, because it's important for you when I say this is the most critical piece of software that you can download for free, what I mean by that. Well, if you're lucky enough to have never had a problem with Windows and it just boots every time and you've never had any issues, well, it probably isn't a big deal. But there's a lot of times where people download software or you get a malware infection or some kind of craziness happens and you have to be able to repair your Windows installation. And if you don't have the software to do that, just like back in the day, you had a CD, you could pop in the CD and reinstall it. But this has basically now become the new CD. Now, Windows 10 support technically ended this past October, but many of you were able to do what's called an extended support and then continue that support until October of 2026. Now, what Microsoft generally does, and if you try to ever look for a Windows 7 or Windows 8 download, you're not going to see those because Microsoft takes those off their website. And once they do that, you have no legitimate way, according to Microsoft, to get that software. And the reason an installer disk is so important is that once you have it, even if Microsoft takes their uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11 software off their website after their support ends, you've got a way to get back into your computer. You've got a way to fix whatever's wrong. You've got a way to completely wipe that computer and start over from scratch. And it's 100% legal and supported by Microsoft. So why would you not take the time to create this? All you need is a simple flash drive. And if you don't have one, I'll put a link in the description for you. You can click on it and have it at your doorstep tomorrow. And once you've done that, no matter what happens, you can sleep comfortably knowing that you've got Windows on a flash drive. And since we're on the subject of installing Windows, if you need a valid product key for an unactivated copy of Windows, I got you covered. Have you found yourself stuck with an unactivated or possibly illegal copy of Windows? Well, thanks to today's sponsor, KeysFam, you can be up and running and 100% legal again in about 10 minutes. An unactivated copy of Windows prevents you from personalizing your computer. You can use code AYCG52 for 52% off Microsoft Windows products, and you can use code AYCG62 for 62% off Microsoft Office products. The purchase process could not be simpler. Simply search for the version of Windows or Office that you're looking for, add it to your cart, make sure you apply your coupon code, and within 10 minutes you'll have an email sent to you with a new product code. Go to your email, select the product key, go to Windows Activation Settings, paste your product key, click Next, then Activate, and you're done. Let me show you how to do this. It's really easy. So before we start this process, please understand this flash drive, if you have one around the house that you're going to use to create this installer disk, this flash drive is going to be completely wiped, completely deleted by the Windows installer creation process. So if you have data on a flash drive that you're going to use, make sure you put that data somewhere else. Everything that's on that disk is going to be deleted forever. So make sure that you use an empty disk. 
I just want to get that out there because I've had people do this before and because I didn't tell them to make sure that this disk is going to be wiped, even though the software tells you that, they get mad at me for it. So please understand, everything on this disk is going to be deleted. Now I've gone ahead and put the flash drive in my computer and as you can see here it pops up as drive letter J. Now currently I have a uh, Linux installer on this disk so it doesn't matter to me. I don't need this and again whether it's a new drive or you have software on it make sure that you have everything off of it. Now that being said make note of this drive letter. In this case it's drive J. That will be important later. Now this will work whether you have Windows 10 or Windows 11, but all you want to do is just go to Google and type download Windows 10 or Windows 11 media creation tool. And you'll see right here, the very first link takes you to this Windows 10 disk image installation. No different than if I said download Windows 11 media creation tool. You'll see when you click on it, it's basically going to take you to the identical page. So whether you have Windows 10 or Windows 11, the process is identical. All the icons, all the buttons, all that stuff, okay? Now, if you have Windows 11, you don't have to worry about it so much because Windows 11 is going to be supported for a while. But Windows 10 support is going to end. And once it ends, Microsoft can at any time take that software off their website. So what we want to do is make sure that we have all of that in advance. You guys might have some questions and I'll try to answer those for you at the end. So in the meantime, regardless of which version you have, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and say download Windows 10 because that's the one that's really at risk of being uh, removed. So you're going to scroll down here and you're going to click create Windows 10 installation media and you just click the download now and you'll get the opportunity to put this installer in your downloads folder or anywhere else. Just make sure you pay attention to where it goes. In this case, I'm going to put it in the downloads folder. It's called Media Creation Tool 22H2. I'm going to click Save and just like that, it's ready to run. So go ahead and click on that download when it's done. Now it's going to take a few minutes and it's eventually going to pop up this Windows 10 license agreement or the Windows 11 license agreement. Both of them are going to look identical. You can read through this if you want. I don't know anybody who ever has, but basically you're agreeing to license Windows. You don't own it, but you're licensed to use it on this computer. So just click accept when you're ready. And then what it's doing is it's building the file system and everything in the background so that it can go download and create this installer disk. This may take a couple minutes, especially if you have an older computer, no big deal. Now this next screen that comes up gives you two options. Upgrade this PC now, which we don't want to do that. We're not trying to upgrade the computer. We're trying to create the emergency disk. So right here, select create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file for another PC. Now, you can do it on a DVD. I have not had a whole lot of luck with it, and apparently you need a really large uh, DVD to do this, so I recommend using a flash drive um, for simplicity and speed. So make sure Create Installation Media is selected, and then just click Next. Now this next screen comes up, says select your language, architecture, and edition. This should be pretty standard for most people. Most people are going to be on a 64-bit operating system. And as you can see, it's Windows 10 and also your language, which in this case is English. If you need to change these options, you can uncheck this box and then, you know, change it to uh, English uh, or whatever other language. Or maybe you're making this for somebody um, that lives in Norway. You can change that and choose that language and it should only give you the option for Windows 10 if you followed the Windows 10 links and for architecture 32-bit 64-bit or both if you're not sure you can go ahead and choose both most modern systems are 64-bit if you know you have 64-bit then click 64-bit if you click both Windows will automatically detect uh, that you have a 32-bit, which is going to be a really, really, really old machine. Um, in this case, I know I have 64-bit. I'm only going to use it on 64-bit, so I'm going to leave these options as they are. Once I'm done, click Next. Now, here is where the flash drive comes in handy. And if you can see here, it says if you want to install Windows, you need to create and run the media to install it. So this is telling you what 
type of media you want to use. You have two choices, a USB flash drive, which I already explained is what you need, or you can download an ISO file, which you can download and save later. You can absolutely do that today. You do not have to create the media creation tool with this flash drive. You could just download it and have access to it later and create that later if you want, but you don't have to. But for most people, most novice users, I think it makes more sense to just go ahead and take that flash drive and create it, stick it in a drawer. So I'm gonna select USB flash drive and then click next. Now, as you can see here, it's going to say, okay, what drive do you want to create the installer on? Now, in this case, I got a whole bunch of drives, but remember when I said earlier to pay attention to the drive letter, this is why. Because in this case, I've got my J drive, which is Linux Mint, it's an installer disk that I'm okay with wiping it. And you want to make sure you select the proper drive. If you do not select the proper drive, whatever drive you select is going to be deleted. So make 100% sure that it is the correct drive. If you are not sure, then open up your Windows Explorer again and look for that drive and double check. It doesn't take but a second. I know it's safe to wipe drive J, so I'm good there. Now, in this case, I've selected drive J, and then I'm just gonna simply click next. Now, what's happening here is that Microsoft is preparing your installer, and then is going to download that installer, and then start creating that disk. This can take a little while, so uh, just be patient. A lot of it depends on your internet connection speed and all that. You can still continue to use your PC in the meantime. So depending on the speed of your computer and the speed of your internet, this could take a while. So just be patient and wait. Okay, so it's taken about an hour, but as you can see, the process is complete. Now, at this point, it says your USB flash drive is ready and you can just click finish. And then it's just gonna do a little bit of cleanup and then you're good to go. So at this point, you're done. Take your flash drive out of your computer, stick it in a Ziploc or a storage bag, stick it in a drawer and hope you never need it. But if you wanna be sure that it works, go ahead and plug it back in and let's test it. So there's my J drive and there's a setup.exe. And if I double click on that, you should see the Windows installation start. And just like that, that's exactly what you want. This is what you would use in Windows if you needed to do a refresh or something like that. But this is also a fully bootable disk. So at this point, I'm just gonna close this, tell it, yes, I wanna quit. And now go put that flash drive back in the Ziploc bag. So as I said before, I know you guys probably have some questions and I'm going to do my best to try to answer those. The most common question I get is if I create this installer disk and I need to reinstall Windows down the road, do I need a new product key or do I need to save my product key? No, you don't. Your Windows product key, whether it's 10 or 11, is digitally stored in your BIOS on your motherboard. You could take the hard drive completely out, put a brand new hard drive in, install Windows, and your activation is gonna be automatic. Your system will recognize that key and just activate Windows. And as I said before, if for some reason you do need a valid product key because maybe the one you have isn't valid, you can absolutely get one from our sponsor, Keyspan. Second question might be, do I really need an eight gig drive or can I use a larger drive? Yeah, you can use any size drive over eight gigabytes. I've done this hundreds of times with an eight gig drive. So in a case like this, if you just used an eight gig drive, you're only really gonna be able to have room for the installer. But say you got a 64 gig drive like the one I have, once the installer is created, you can then create multiple partitions and store personal files on there and have it as a bootable disk, which is really great. Another question that I get all the time is, well, now that I've got this, what do I do with it? Well, hopefully it will just sit in a drawer and you don't need to do anything with it. But for those times where Windows doesn't boot up or you get, uh, for some reason, it just does a boot loop or a blue screen or whatever, you can do what's called booting to this flash drive. And what that means is you plug the drive into your computer and then when your computer first turns on, usually, the function keys on your computer, and it depends on the model. So like for example, on a Dell, it'd be F12. And I think with HP, it's F9, I don't know. Each manufacturer has their own function key sequence, but what that does is it allows you to say, don't boot to my Windows drive, boot to another drive. Once you hit that certain function key, you'll get a menu, and then you'll see this bootable flash drive. You arrow down, 
select it and now it will boot to this drive and that will not only give you the opportunity to repair windows but possibly backup files that you haven't backed up already even completely wipe and reinstall windows from scratch and as a second to that question yes you can use this installer disk if you wanted to go get a brand new hard drive pop it in the computer boot to this drive install windows and you're 100 percent good to go with the larger drive i've done it thousands of times over the years this is exactly how the professionals do it another very popular question i get is what version am i downloading well in this case if you're on windows 10 uh windows 22 h2 i believe is going to be the last version that microsoft puts on their website i don't believe they're upgrading it beyond that if you are on windows 11 it might be 24 h2 or the newly released 25 h2 so either way it's going to have a relatively recent uh windows update so in other words you're not going to have to go download a ton of updates depending on when you create the disk and that leads me to another question is what if i create a windows 11 24 h2 but then later on 25 h2 comes out should i create another installer disk with 25 h2 that's really personal preference it doesn't really matter because when you install windows off that 24 h2 that's the version of windows you're going to have and then what will happen is is when windows finally boots up after installing it it's going to try to either give you the option to update to 25 h2 or automatically do it but either way you'll still be able to get those windows updates without a problem now personally i don't generally like going to the latest version of windows i'd rather stay on 24 h2 until all the bugs have been worked out of 25 h2 but again personal preference there's no wrong answer either way another question that i get asked is how long is microsoft going to keep these uh downloads on their web servers well hard to say because microsoft can just say at any time we're no longer supporting it now Considering that Windows 10 is now officially supported until October of 2026, it's not going to come down before then. Could you go ahead and create the installer knowing this is the last supported version of Windows 10? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and do it now because what you don't want to do is blow it off and then come November of next year, need the installer disk. And unfortunately, Microsoft may have pulled it off their web server. There's no real telling when they're going to do that. So if you can get it now, I would recommend getting it now. I also get asked this question is should I create two as a backup well yeah flash drives do go bad so if you create two installer disks there's a higher opportunity that if one of them goes bad the other one's probably going to be okay so uh, I would definitely recommend doing that and again if you want to just follow that link and order two I think that would just give you an extra layer of comfort but for some of you it may be overkill now one of the questions that I get asked a lot is now that I've got this disk what do I do with it Actually, that's a little more complicated than in just this video. I just wanted to show you how to create it, but I did make a full dedicated video showing you how to use an installer disk and do all the Windows troubleshooting that you might need. And you can check that video out right over here. So if you got value out of this video, make sure you let me know by hitting like and subscribe down below. Share it with someone that you think might benefit from it. And as always, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video.